Hey guys, this is Ty from Tennessee. I appreciate you joining me today. And some of the things I want to talk to you about today are, well, what are you watching? What are some of those things that you're watching on YouTube? What are some of those things that I'm watching on YouTube? So stick around and let's talk about it. All right, so just as I mentioned, what we're going to be talking about today is some of the things that I'm watching on YouTube. Some of the things I'm watching on YouTube besides motovloggers, right? I mean, as a motovlogger, we all get it. We all realize we're watching other channels to see the things they do um, and to be entertained by them. But when you're not watching motovlogging on YouTube, what are some of those things that you're watching? And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. As a content creator and, you know, someone who has a, an audience, a small audience, but an audience, you know, I'm always wanting to do something to, um, you know, let you guys learn something new about me. Since with many of you, I don't have face-to-face -face conversations and we don't talk personally, what are some of those things that I can do so that you can learn more about me and maybe I can learn more about you? So I think this is going to be one of those videos. It's pretty cool. So let's start, let's start with this. Who is my favorite motovlogging YouTube channel? Who gets that number one spot? Uh, that would have to be Blacktop Devil. I mean, I absolutely love that channel with Brian and Heather. They do some of the coolest stuff. His video editing, Brian's video editing is awesome. Um, it, it's just all around an exceptional channel. If I had to list all the YouTube channels that I really like, I mean, we, we just don't have enough time for that. There are a lot of them that I watch, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Blacktop Devil. So if you're watching my channel, you most certainly know about theirs. And if you don't, go over there and be sure and check out that channel. What about underrated moto vloggers, right? There are a couple of channels that I absolutely love that I think are so underrated. So the first one would be Big Smitty Riding. Big Smitty Riding. I'm telling you, Smitty is one entertaining dude. He is hilarious. He's got a great channel. If he makes a video, he's got something to say with good content. Um, he's just a likable guy, man. I, if, and I think he's in Texas. If I lived in Texas, I would make it a point to hang out with Big Smitty. Again, if you're watching this channel, go over there and check out Big Smitty Riding. All right, as we continue here, I've got one other channel that I think is very, very much underrated, and that's got to be Whiskey Chaser in New York, New York. Be sure to go check out his channel. Man, I love when him and uh, Parker Coyote, they hit the town and go out in, uh, in North New York City at night and take us out to, to bars and clubs and uh, just all types of things that I'll probably never be able to see and experience in New York City. Um, but I am telling you, without a doubt, his channel, again, is just entertaining. That's why it's one of those, it's one of those channels, again, that uh, if a notification pops up and I see he's got a new video, I'm watching it. And uh, I just love that channel. And again, I wish him all the success in the world. And I don't see why uh, he's not way up there with YouTube numbers as well. So if you're watching this, be sure to go check out Whiskey Chaser. He's one of my favorite. All right, now that we've got that out of the way and we've talked about some of my favorite motovlogging channels, let's talk about some of those subjects that I watch um, other than motorcycles. All right, here we go. So that would have to be news bloopers. I cannot get enough of watching news bloopers. I, I, I really have a problem. Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. Man also told police others in the room laughed. 
Well, if you've watched some of the national news lately, there's a lot of chatter out there about UFOs. Now, when I say UFOs, I'm not specifically talking about aliens or that type of thing, but I'm just talking about the traditional meaning of UFO. And I watch a ton of that stuff on, oh man, on every type of streaming device that I have. YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime. Now, after the blue light pulled you into the spacecraft, what is your next memory? I woke up in a dirty metal dome and uh, 40 little gray aliens watched me pee in a steel bowl. <laughs> when they took the bowl, walked out. Interesting. Anything that I can watch with UFOs in it, I just find it fascinating. Now, whether you believe that they're actually aliens or some type of black ops, uh, you know, military technology, that type of thing, you know, I'll leave that up for discussion and, and, and debate later. But uh, I just find those type of things just absolutely fascinating that there's potentially some type of technology out there that we don't know anything about you know from the general public side of things and so i watch a lot a lot of ufo stuff on youtube as well and so you get into the ufo stuff and all the conspiracy theories and that type of thing so what comes after ufos well naturally that would have to be bigfoot <laughs> now hey big guy you want to play with us come on <laughs> There is actually a Bigfoot museum that's close to my house. I've got another video. You can search through it, my videos, if you want to. But anyway, um, there's another video that I have that me and a buddy, we actually went to this Bigfoot museum. And I got to tell you, it was highly entertaining. I absolutely loved it and had a great time. But again, you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those conspiracy theories that I love to watch. And I just dig it because... You know let's face it it's the what if right you know what if they found some bigfoot out there roaming around in part of the country or part of the world that we didn't know anything about some new undiscovered species now i'm not saying that i believe in bigfoot i'm not saying i don't again we'll table that discussion for another time i'm just simply saying that it would be awesome and admitting the first step is admitting right i actually have a problem when it comes to ufo and bigfoot documentaries i watch way 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 too many of them so if you do let me know in the comments below <laughs> i'd like to hear about that as well wait what did you just call me bigfoot my name is daryl and one of the last things that i would like to add to the list today i love going to Las Vegas. We're gonna give daddy the Rain Man suite. Do you dig that? We're going to Vegas, Mike. Vegas! Vegas. You think we get there by midnight? Money, we're gonna be up 500 by midnight. Yeah, <laughs> Vegas! Vegas, baby, Vegas! I've been a handful of times and I enjoy it immensely, which is really strange because I'm a beach type of guy. I love going to the beach, but Las Vegas, right, is out in the middle of a desert and i love going to vegas so naturally i'll get on youtube or anything else i can find and try to find videos on vegas on gambling i love playing blackjack i love playing craps i'm telling you baby you always double down a little bit yeah well obviously not always always baby i'm just saying not in this particular case you always double down. i lost okay how could you say all this lady has anytime anytime i can find something on youtube that's gonna sharpen my skills and in, in those games i love it if um, i'm able to find you know like back in the uh, i don't know the 50s or 60s or whenever when uh, frank sinatra and they say the mob was in control of vegas back in the day i love really watching those type of documentaries and those types of videos there's so much fun all right guys well i appreciate your time very much i'll tell you what in the comments below let me know what you're poison let me know what you're watching i'd love to be able to hear about it and uh, be able to connect with you a little bit and if you're a new subscriber let me know in the comments below too i'd like to get uh, familiar with your name and your uh, channel and that type of thing so be sure to let me know about it but i hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon